Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Library. My name is Tom Harrod, and I'm the Research Support Librarian at the Himmelfarb Library. Today, we will briefly be talking about tracking citations with Scopus. Our videos are publicly available and licensed under a CCBY NCSA Creative Commons license, although some resources discussed in this series are only available to faculty, staff, and students with access to Himmelfarb Library resources. Let's get started. The first thing I want to discuss is why you should care about tracking citations with Scopus. First of all, doing so is a great way to identify articles related to an article of interest without relying on keyword searches. One of the limitations of traditional database searching is that you need to identify all the relevant keywords. If you overlook an important synonym or related keyword, you might miss out on important articles. Whereas, tracking citations allows you to identify pertinent articles based on the connections that the authors themselves have made through their citations. Another reason for tracking citations is to identify seminal articles in a field. You can search for a topic in Scopus and then sort by time cited to find the most highly cited articles. Thirdly, you can use citation information to track the impact of your own publications. Let's go to Scopus and take a look. First, I'll start at the Himmelfarb Library homepage, himmelfarb.gwu.edu, then click on Scopus here. I'll run a quick practice search, diabetes and metformin. And here I can sort by time cited, so cited by highest. By doing this, I'll identify the articles that have been highly influential in this field of research based on the number of times they've been cited. Also, I can choose one that might be of particular interest to me, and I can look to see who has cited that article to find more recent articles that are based on that initial article of interest. So this article was published in 2002 and it's been cited 13,000 times. So if I click on uh, right here, view all citing documents, it will show me the most recent articles up to the current date uh, that are of articles that are based on that initial article of interest. So you can see from these quick examples how you can search for highly influential articles identify related articles to an initial article of interest, and how you can use Scopus to track the impact of your own publications. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Tracking Citations with Scopus. If you enjoyed this webinar, please visit our video library, which is at the URL shown on this slide. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact me at tph at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.